Awesome. And terrible all at once. <laughs> uh, by the way, I hope the people appreciated the Alexander Zonchak NFL Blitz. That was very exciting. He David, did. <laughs> David's a huge fan. <laughs> all right. Uh, deal breaker time? Sure, that's a deal breaker. Evan Shirt is a deal breaker. That's a tough look. Let's get involved. Sports and life intersect. Questions, answers, theories. It's deal breakers. Roberto? All right, well, let's start today with the non-sports deal breakers because I know Evan likes these. He's going to have a lot to bring to the table with this one for sure. Mm. Here we go. He's a wise man. <laughs> You've been dating a girl for a few weeks. You go over her family's house for the first time, and her younger sister is there. Nice. You find her to be ten times more attractive than the sister you are with. What do you do? <laughs> Paul, please. Paul, what did you do? Uh, let, I want to start with Kenneth Cott. We'll go clockwise here. Kenny in a lovely lavender macho man t-shirt today. <laughs> this actually has happened to me before. Oh. She wasn't ah, like. Of course it did. Yeah, your girlfriend could be listening. This it's is a not bad my idea. girlfriend. It wasn't <laughs> ten times as attractive, but it was like five times. It was up there still. Was this lunch meat girl? This was not lunch meat girl. No. Everything begins and ends with the cold cut affair. That's right. It's a sandwich <laughs> afternoon. Go ahead. Um, it's it's not a deal breaker. You you just do your best to ignore it. You have to, otherwise you look like a scumbag. And if you hit on her, you make it worse. It's it's a no go. It's 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 not a deal. Just breaker. so we're clear, guy in purple macho man shirt saying someone else looks like a scumbag. That's true. Yeah, got it. Okay, <laughs> let's let's go over to David Hall. David, how long is have you been with the current girlfriend? I said two weeks. Oh, you move on. You move on. You see what the prospect. How of the, exactly of the do sister. you move on, and how low are the morals of the sister if she actually takes you up on that? <laughs> what, that's what I'm saying. You have to gauge. You have to have conversation with the sister and see if there's interest oh. there. You know, you you could you could snake around and see. Okay, <laughs> there's a term. Oh, yeah, there's there's a term. All right. <laughs> Let me tell you, your snake's been busy. You got 17 kids. <laughs> Yeah, he's been snaking around. Yeah. <laughs> he's been doing more than snake in the toilet. Mm. Get away from that sister-in-law. All right, now let's hold on. Everybody everybody, calm down. She, she, she doesn't have any siblings. Oh, you're lucky. Yeah, take it. You're lucky. Now, let's go. Now, people will not believe this, but back in the day when Evan was my producer, this man has some of the craziest stories. No one's more equipped to answer this than Evan Jenkins. Well, it's kind of a fun situation because, like, if this is a couple of Roseville sisters, you can probably easily pull this off, right? Because they probably don't like each other as is. The younger one might be jealous of the <laughs> I older can't even one. Look at this kid. <laughs> <laughs> I do you a way to just smear an entire community. <laughs> I'm just going to what I know, right? And if she is a little jealous, usually you can tell within the first five to ten minutes of meeting somewhere if you're gonna get somewhere with that person, right? So, no, it's not a deal breaker. If anything, Roberto, it's a reason to keep going back over there <laughs> to try to plant your seed, right? That's, and see oh what grows. God. That is classic jank. Right? Classic. Keep wow. going over there. Plant your seed. Don't say it like that. <laughs> no, do say it like yeah. that. Snake around. <laughs> don't, don't worry. I got plenty of real estate on this board over here. Yeah, snake around. That's, that's the name of David's book, Snaking Around, oh. My Journey to 12 Kids. <laughs> Guy drives an 18-wheeler to work. Forwards written by Cromartie. Right. Uh, Elon Musk on, on children. Got a couple twins. I just learned He's about that. He's got nine time. kids. Hey. Um, I'm out, by the way. That's a total deal breaker. I, it's too much drama. It's too much nonsense. No, <laughs> absolutely out. Little you walk fun. away with nothing. I, nothing. I'll go home and watch Sports Center. Leave me alone. All right, number two. Okay. A guy in your office is always scamming food off you and others in the office. Whenever he sees you with food, he will ask, hey, you going to eat all that? It could be pizza or even a candy bar. How do you politely handle this situation? <laughs> we have people like that. Well, why don't you, oh, I have no idea what you're talking about. Yeah, I have no about. idea who you're referring to. Uh, Kenny first. We go clockwise, Evan. Kenny, please. 
I just make a point. It is a deal breaker. I just make a point when I know they're around to not eat at all. I've, I've experienced plenty of people like this. Oh. I'm not going to name names. Give there is one. no ah. chance that I name. Just, just rhyme it. He may be in Arizona right now. Oh, <laughs> that's a not. I didn't know you were going there. Whoa. I'm just kidding. It's a joke. It's a joke. I'm not kidding. He gets. <laughs> but he, he, gets feeds, so he feeds you a lot. Doesn't he get upset if we order out food? He comes in. And he, Where's mine? I don't know. You should have stopped somewhere and grabbed it. Well, here's the here's the other thing. Rico comes in like he's going backpacking in Europe. He's got enough food for a six week journey. Right. He's got his silver bowl, a bag of jerky. He's got a produce department there's in the damn thing. Canned food. Where's mine? Oh. I've never heard him say that. that really? Is, that is not where I thought you were going. I Kenny. know that was a jeez. I thought you were going with an individual that used to be here that's up north right now. Who stole a turkey oh. on Thanksgiving? Oh. That's who I thought you were going to talk about because nah, they bleep can that dirt bag. No, uh, well, mm, you know, um, <laughs> bandit. Yeah, you cannot. Uh, you cannot. No, leave me alone. I'm trying to eat. Stop trying to eat off of me. Let's go to Evan Jenkins. So I actually up ab- next Evan on Roseville sixes. I actually <laughs> <laughs> a Roseville six is a little rough. Just to let you know, two make a twelve. That's exactly you right. You can't say that on the air. A Roseville <laughs> 6 is like a Birmingham 3, right? Is that the equivalence? <laughs> um, I appreciate the thoughts and the... expressions made by Evan Jenkins are not <laughs> right. those of the Valeni show with That's Rico. Right. Without written consent of 97. <laughs> one the All right, Evan, go ahead. You were saying. I appreciate the hustle of the guy that's always trying to scam food. There is a guy that works on a show that is before yours that... We'll bring in food every day, but if you bring in food, he'll be like, I'm hurt. Why didn't you ask me? <laughs> that is a big problem at this You got to rhyme it. You don't get to say it if you don't rhyme it. And you um, guys, and you guys, I've heard that you have confronted that. True. Um, his cousin is a crocodile. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Noted. If you can put two and two together. All right, Noted. All right. um, but I'm just saying, a lot of people in this office really, really like to be offended if you go out and get lunch and not ask them. I'm sorry, we're a bunch of grown adults. If you want lunch, go get lunch. I don't know what to tell you. That's a deal breaker. That guy's out, man. It is another reason why I hate the open office concept. What I, you got there, Mike? Yeah, right, eating? exactly. Like you're, you feel like one of Siegfried and Roy's tigers, and you're on display. And it's like, how about you just keep walking? Hey, how Mike, about that? What do you got a, to eat over we there? We had a huh? guy that worked in the building that will find the food. Like we would have it over here as a station. And he would find his way over to it. Well, it's no different than Bagelfoot. Stoney will walk oh, around this whole right. place. Oh, you're what right. What did you just call him? Bagelfoot. We used to, um, back in the day, follow Stoney when he would go look for food. And we would take pictures of him from far. So it kind of looked like Bigfoot in the wild. So we named him Bagelfoot. He would, Stoney would never go to the other side of the building. But if there's bagels, donuts, something like that, there's Stoney chopping it up. Bagelfoot. Bagelfoot. Yep. All right, Roberto, let's go to number three. All right, number three, I'll give you a sports one here. Oh, great. You're in contract negotiations with your QB, trying to get a deal done. Through the negotiation process, he's constantly airing dirty laundry on podcasts and social media, sometimes bad-mouthing the team. How do you handle this? How good's the quarterback? That's the question. If it's Aaron Rodgers, I put up with it. If it's Baker Mayfield, well, I don't. Kenny? I mean, how many quarterbacks are as good as Aaron Rodgers? He might be the only type of guy that you could keep that around All right. for. How many quarterbacks in the league would it not be a deal breaker for? Oh. Top five or six. Tom Brady. After that. Kyler Murray. Oh, thank you. Um, uh, last time we saw Kyler, he looked like a little kid out on that field. I don't know, man. Take it easy with yeah. Matthew Stafford. Probably include Russell Wilson. Yeah, so John maybe Stafford. maybe a handful of quarterbacks. Yeah. A handful only. Yeah. Evan. It de- it really depends if I if I know I'm kind of being shady. Any I more let thoughts it go. on Roseville you'd like to share? <laughs> Listen, I love Roseville. That's but... where the QB's from, actually. Yeah, then, you no, have a quarterback a from Roseville. <laughs> yeah, if it's like Jamarcus Russell, you see that stuff you put in the Players Tribune, by the way. Oh my God, uh, quite a but, story. Yeah, that's a deal breaker. I mean, you got to be elite to talk crap about me and let you back on the squad. You got to be elite. I, I I'm with you there. It. it there's, it's not communism. The rules are different for different people. That's yeah. how sports work. 
So, yeah, I'd say a little more than a handful. I just think Kenny's being a little dishonest. Daniel Jones, we'd probably do it for. Kenny no. Pickett. No. I, th- I think three or four guys, the top five guys, no. maybe. No, Kenny Pickett can't, <laughs> he can't do anything. So. In, in reality, it's probably like 15 to 20 quarterbacks that's, that teams would allow that to happen. That's what I'm saying. Because otherwise, you end up here to Lions, and I you have Jared Goff. Th- if Jared Goff went on a podcast and started blasting the team, he would be starting game one. Well, I don't know about that. No, I think you he's see right. what's behind him. <laughs> what yeah, about okay. Tim Boyle? They can go get Sam Darnold. That's what I'm saying. So, some teams don't have another option, so you kind of got to sit back and take it. I actually just wish there were more ways for you to talk about Roseville and for Alexander Zonchak to make an appearance. That on dude Deal has Breakers. some hair. I hope he still has it. Evan, all. Evan, he does. David is a huge fan. Of I remember. I saw David one time walking through the old building, and Zonchak was in the building. Like David was like shaking and stuff. It was awesome. <laughs> I hate both of you. I want to touch your mustache. <laughs> Where do you get those curls from? That Maybe man we can didn't talk. know who I was. Who's your hairstylist? See? That's why he was nervous. He doesn't even know who I am. I can't Shut say up, hi to man. him. He'd leave, the, uh, he'd leave a chair here. It'd be like the, the, the couch that had soul glow on it. <laughs> Huge stain on the back. <laughs> yep. Yep. I think that's right where we stop. Right. 